Hey everybody, it's Mike from Monkey Fab Garage. Uh, check it out. <laughs> so today, it's been a long time. I know it's been a long time, and I apologize. Uh, I have I had a lot of false starts, so um, not super motivated. Uh, this time of year is my busy time, uh, and just not super motivated. The, the, everything breaking on the car has been kind of uh, just like. Meh. And then the, I'm, I'm having to do something that I'm not overly comfortable with and haven't ever done before. So that's just more reasons to kind of like, eh, I don't really feel like doing anything. Um, we're finding other shit to do that needs to be done around the house, which is always, there's always something that needs to be done around the house. So uh, like I said, I full started a couple times. Good news is our transmission is back from uh, Josh and it looks great. Um, and I have the... Uh, I've installed the fancy shifter linkage right now. I got a video of that. Maybe I'll show it now. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll abbreviate it. <laughs> and uh, let's see, did I leave the light on? Of course I left the light on. And inside the car, this is what we got going on. So we have the fancy Hurst shifter thing. Uh, and we have a hump in the middle of the car. And you can see there I've butchered the carpet out of there. And then I got this piece of uh, aluminum. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I have to make a mount obviously for this guy. And I figured I'd build some kind of box to hide the gold box in so it's not just flopping around the floor well. Uh, you know, like all sloppy and stuff. And uh, so my thoughts are to make a plate, make a fixture on the hump to attach the plate to. So it'll basically be like a four bolt design that'll bolt down to something that'll weld to the tunnel itself. And then I'll make a console that will probably bolt onto the plate that's gonna bolt to the floor that the console will bolt to. And inside I, I like to have uh, I like to have cup holders. They didn't have cups in 1978. And this power supply deal, I got a couple of USB uh, switches that maybe I'll wire to either side. And I have to have the shifter. So, and I'd also like to get somewhere down here, there is an oil temperature gauge, I think right here, but it's too dark to see. I'd like to get that up into there. So, um, yeah. So that should make sense to you in your mind, right? Probably makes as much sense to you as it does to me right now. But uh, that's where I'm at. And what I think I'm going to do is make a plate on the CAD software, cut it out, maybe use like uh, 1 8 inch steel and make some kind of way to weld that basically to the floor. I'm not sure if I'm just going to, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So just have to, just have to, just have to watch and find out. Let me show you what we got going on Yeah. So I whip this little guy up on the CAD and cut it out and what you can see is that guy there. So this is just uh, it's just made out of 16 gauge so it's like flimsy and that is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to make a small adjustment just to add some uh, rigidity to the mounting points but I think that'll give me three six nine nine mounting points which are probably way too many but it's better to be safe than sorry uh, to this guy and when I tack it on I can tack it down in four different places and that should you see how it's uh, to pull up it'll have to kind of will kind of have to suck in which kind of once it's tacked down it'll kind of make it rigid and that's pretty much what we're looking for. So we got the, so we got the, uh, the real one cut out, the uh, one eighth inch plate. And you see, I just kind of triangulated some stuff to kind of add some rigidity in there. And uh, yeah, I just kind of roughly kind of bent it into place to see how it fit and what the spacing needs to be. Um, I added some holes, so maybe I can just plug weld through these holes on the side as opposed to try to get around it might be easier um, and right now I'm just popping some holes into the center line and what I'm gonna do is add some rib nuts in those and we're gonna bolt this guy to it and then drill out the, the far supports 
and that'll be it. And then we'll... A couple seconds later, no big deal. We just uh, basically just undid the outside ones and uh, straightened it up, and then popped the hole through it, and we did it. So now we're straight. Trust me, we're straight. I don't know if that looks straight, but it's it's straight. Um, and that was kind of the point of what I'm doing. It, you wonder like, well, why don't you just pop those holes in it on the plasma cutter? The plasma cutter tends not to cut very good circles, especially small, small circles. And on top of that, sometimes what will happen is the, the plasma will actually heat treat <laughs> that, that ring as it's blowing it out uh, because of how it, it, it superheats and, and then carbon still cools pretty quickly just because of the mass around it uh, and sometimes it'll be like hardened so it, you'll just kill drill bits if you go back in there and try to round them out um, plasma plasma cutter problems but anyway uh, that was the point of kind of getting this guy on here was getting it straight in the first place so when I go ahead and I can drill out these these outer tabs and uh, then when I drill through it they should all line up so when I go to Pull this guy in, it'll be nice and sturdy. And uh, yeah, you guys get it right. So, uh, on to drilling more holes, popping more rib nuts in, and uh, yeah, lots of stuff. Bam! So that's that's on there nice and rigid and uh, I don't know I just saw the hole so I figured I'd just go ahead and drill it out and uh, I still need to put the other ones but that's good because I can take an outline this so I know where it's at and make sure I drill my holes somewhere besides where this actually landed. We got this guy almost almost all sorted out so here it is. I just have it, yes, sitting on the back of the Phoenix. Uh, what I was going to do was I wanted to pop a hole in this guy so I could drop the cable down and run it through and back around the tape, the, the tunnel. Um, two hole saws later, <laughs> it just doesn't want to go through uh, the 1 8 inch uh, carbon steel plate. That's all right. I, I gave up. Um, so this Linux one just decided to spit out all its teeth and uh, this Milwaukee one just smoked itself. So, and that was all the whole saws I was wanting to expend on this guy. So I'm just gonna, it's, you know, almost as like, I don't know, half through, I, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's what the plasma cutter's for. So we're just gonna, and then kind of clean up the carbide burr. The back of it is all, all bolted up, all the little, uh, rib nuts are in and we're good to go so what I need to do now is I need to figure out the um, the cable solution so I need to get the cable down and around and out the tunnel before I start welding things into place and uh, bolting stuff down that way uh, that will be laid out so we make sure we clear everything before we weld it and have semi-permanent solutions in place that may or may, or may not work. So let's see, I guess it has, it's been another week. Another week has lapsed. So I've been working on the center console. I'm not gonna tell you how long, because I haven't really been working on it. I've been procrastinating, but we're getting there slowly. So the good thing I've learned from procrastination is that uh, you have lots of times to think about it and rework and come up with better and better solutions. But here's where we're at. I don't know where I left off last time because it has been a week. Um, the base is in there. So we got to get the cable, you know, through the tunnel. And the tunnel is like, boop, right? It's kind of, kind of one plane. And the cable needs to kind of, whoop, go through it like this. Um, and I could just cut a hole and try to bend it and mangle it. But instead what I did was I made this, this guy here. And it'll just kind of, whoop, kind of go up. So it's still a little warm, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. But uh, yeah, I mean, you'll just go on the the tunnel. This is upside down, but it'll mount on the tunnel like this, and the cable will just kind of go down through it, and it'll make a nice little 
passage and we'll just uh, basically trace this like uh, we'll just trace this kind of center section out right here cut that out drop that guy down in there and then we can just pack weld that guy on and seam seal it in there bam weather tight seal nice nice making good progress today hooray here we are I have uh, you know undone the top from the base the top from the base let me come around the other side let's go around the other side of the car and we can get in there and I can kind of show you better what is going on look at this 40 year old sound bed me material just less stuff less whoop. I hate it when I do that focus no don't focus manual focus auto We've got too many buttons on this camera. Sorry about the backlight there, but uh, yeah, I just less stuff to catch on fire. Oh, well, I think I'll, good practice is make stuff wet when you're welding, because you never know, a spark might hit there, fester in there for a while, and then just decide to ignite, um, you know, while you're inside taking a dump or something and uh, you come back and your whole shop's burnt to the ground which would be bad but anyway here is the base and this is what we got three six nine bolts that bolt that to that um, you can see where the hole kind of lines up I'm checking that out and what we can do is we can just tack these corners here can kind of can't see it but here and here on either side I was thinking I get this to lay a little flatter and we could go through there just tack weld them on those holes I punched through there but that is not the case uh, because of the way it bent and it's pretty much perfect the way it is now uh, it's up high I wanted to you know get it up so I, I want to have a little bit of gap in between the two so when I bolt it down to this guy it kind of sucks the center console down and holds it nice and firm into place um, and then underneath here you'll see this little black box right now and that is where our this guy is going to get cut out and welded into so the cable will then shoot up through that hole up around back through here do a loop-de-loop -loop, and then shoot down to the transmission tunnel area all right moving along we got the, the hole cut it's pretty good um I can I can tap this down so it lays nice and flat and then right here I need to go underneath it and just kind of ding this up a little bit and then I can drill a hole over there a hole over there just tack weld it on either side and seam seal it in place and it will be uh, good and we'll have our cable ready and we'll be ready to lay our cage and all that stuff.